Hello, I'm Mariah. And I'm Mac. Let's take a moment and talk about bartending for catering events. The type of bar service varies from event to event, so the first thing you'll want to do is meet with your supervisor and review the catering contract. You can find a list of mixers and equipment you'll need for the different types of service posted on the unit cork board. Prepare the required equipment, garnishes, and mixers. Then verify that the proper quantities and types of glassware have been gathered as well. Once on site, start by taking beginning inventory of your alcohol. Verify that all the alcohol listed on the consumption sheet is accounted for and have a manager sign the consumption sheet. The same process will be completed at the end of the event. Anytime there's a switch from hosted to cash during bar service, then a second consumption sheet will be included to inventory the hosted items prior to reopening the bar for cash sales. Now you can start setup of your back bar. Place the large white tubs in the center of the back of the bar for beer, wine, and soda. For a full bar, you will leave enough room between the two to display your liquor. Fill one with house beer and the other with premium beer and white wine. Since red wine needs to be served at room temperature, set it next to your tub with the white wine. Make sure you have a wine key and a bottle opener nearby for service. Separating the two types of beer not only allows you to locate it quickly, it also helps you remember they are priced differently. Once your back bar tubs are filled, cover the product with ice to ensure it is cold for service. Use one bottle of each beer and wine to display your selection on the bar top. This is much easier than listing your selection to every guest that orders. If you are offering a full bar, display your liquor bottles in the center of the table, placing the premium liquor in front and the house liquor behind. Putting the more expensive premium liquor in front makes it more visible and again divides the two different prices. Make sure you have speed pours ready for service. Mixers should be stored under the bar top for easy access. Next is glassware setup. It is very important to inspect all glassware for cleanliness. Stack the wine glasses in a pyramid shape next to your wine and beverage glasses on the other side of the back bar. If you have keg beer, make sure that your beverage glasses are in close proximity and the backup glassware is readily available. If offering a full bar, place rock glasses next to your liquor display. You will also need a small white tub of ice and an ice scoop for service. If your bar is hosted, then setup is complete. If you have a cash bar, the final setup will be getting a cash register prepared. Details for cash handling and register operations can be found in the cash handling video. Thanks for watching.